Hello and welcome back to the top 85 games for the BBC Micro video countdown series. In at number 11, it's Thrust. Now, this was a thoroughly original game for the BBC Micro specifically, and it came out in 1986 from Superior Software, and it was developed by Jeremy Smith. Um, I say a thoroughly original game specifically for the Beeb, um, that's absolutely what it was, uh, but it was later ported as well to quite a few other machines, including the Commodore 64, uh, the Spectrum got a version, I think, and possibly the CPC as well. Um, it owes a certain amount of its inspiration to Atari's Gravatar, which is an earlier game from 1982, but Thrust is still very much its own game. Uh, there was also a version for the Acorn Electron as well, which uh, ran in a sort of two-colour mode. But we're going to be looking at the Beeb version in this video. So, without further ado, let's get into Thrust. Alright, let's load it up. There we have it, Thrust from Superior Software. So, uh, it's a sort of Star Wars-inspired plot going on here. Basically, we are part of the Resistance, fighting against the Empire. Uh, and as part of our uh, preparation for our attack on the Empire, we need to capture these Kleiston, or Kliston pods, uh, which are located on the planet's surface. Now, our ship has the ability to defend itself. Uh, it's also got a tractor beam. And, oh, look at that splash screen. Amazing stuff. I mean, Superior Software really excelled at these things. Uh, we've seen it in other videos as well, but just amazing. Um, but our basic controls are here, so you can rotate left and right. Um, I've actually had to remap the keys for this one because I'm playing on an emulator, and of course the position of the caps lock and the control key, not so obviously a left and right uh, on a modern day PC. Um, but return and shift obviously there for firing and thrusting, which is uh, your acceleration essentially. And then you've got space uh, to operate the shield and or the tractor beam. So fairly simple controls. Um, the game itself is very much um, geared around gravity. So you can see here that when I press shift, you can hear the sh noise of me shifting, uh, thrusting I should say. Uh, otherwise my ship will just fall. And then I can activate my tractor beam, which... If I am close enough, that lets me uh, collect the fuel. And then we've got this bad guy here, who uh, we will try and take out. There we go. And then over there is our Kleiston pod, which we need to collect. So you basically just need to uh, ooh, hang on, position yourself so you're not too... There we go. And now what we're going to do for extra points is we're going to blow up the reactor. Um, but you have to wait until you've really captured your Kleiston pod before you do that. Hang on. Because otherwise you'll uh burning a lot of fuel here to get into position. Uh, no, not that way. Yeah, if you if you start blowing up the reactor. There we go. Right, now we need to go. Well, oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that technically counted as me winning the level, but uh I didn't get any bonuses at all for that. Yes. Well, that was a bit uh bit tragic, but uh, never mind, we we, uh, we we power on. So on this level, we've got quite a lot of activity going on down here. So we need to get rid of these guys. Oh, no, they've taken me out. Now I think if I shoot the reactor, but not, not too aggressively, it should, it should help to calm down the... Uh, oh, it doesn't seem to have done very much. All right, oh, goodness me. Right, well, not going so well here. I've said this so many times on previous reviews. I did a lot better in my practice runs. Honestly, I did. All right. Okay, that's the fuel. Oh, hang on. I just need to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Wait. No, no, no. All right, now, just gently ease my way out of this tunnel. Now, I might try again to blow up the reactor because it really is worth the extra bonus if you do. Come on, come on, almost there. Oh! Unbelievable, I managed to blow up my own Kleiston pod. Well, that was a splendid start. Uh, well, let's try that again. Uh, back on the first level here. There are only six levels, although in uh, classic Beeb game style, um, the game loops once you complete the first of the six levels, uh, and introduces extra obstacles, including uh, including things like um, making the ground invisible uh, or needing to use your shields uh, to do certain actions. Right. Come on. 
can't. Come on, reactor. Come on. Surely that's enough. Should have, should have got it to go critical by now. No, 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 there we go, right. Now we zoom into space. And there we go, a bonus of 4,000. It is important to get those bonuses because uh, with 10,000 points, you uh, get an extra life. And, uh, well, as you've seen, my propensity to burn through lives is uh, quite something, so all the lives I can get. Oh. Oh, there we go, right now, let's try and grab that fuel. You can get points by shooting the fuel, but you, you get more points, obviously, if you collect the fuel, and the fuel is useful. Right, okay. Now, let's just... Right, now, gently does it. Now, if I... Yes, if I... If I do blow up the... Re ah, you know what? I'm going to play it safe here, and just take this into outer space. I was going to say, if I blew up the reactor, I would have probably just about scored another... Yeah, I would have scored another life, but... Let's, let's, let's not, ooh, let's not uh, get ahead of ourselves here. Now. Okay. Now. Let's see, we need to, right, there's the reactor there. I'm not going to blow that up just yet. Ooh, now we've got a lot of bad guys in this tunnel. Whoa, oh, unbelievable. It's typical me, isn't it? I just managed, you heard that little beep there. That was me uh, getting my extra life, um, which I then lost immediately. So, uh, yeah, classic. Okay, now. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, dear, dear. Right. Okay, so let's uh, just gently see if we can drop ourselves down here. Ooh, ooh. Okay. You know what, I might just leave those fuels and see if I can get get my pod. That's really what I need to get for this level, is the pod. Ooh. Oop. I think I managed to kill one of the bad guys off screen there. Now that's that's another uh, excellent uh, detail of thrust. Is it supports the, um, the existence of... Oh... Oh dear. Oh, well, that's, that's very, that is very generous. Look at that. I had actually died, um, and it put me back right down here. Well, that's extremely generous. Now, the question is, can I navigate out of here without losing the... No! <laughs> without losing the Clyston pod. Oh dear. Right. Well, this is uh, the last life here, so... Oh! No, no, don't do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, let's do. No, 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 no. Okay. Now. Oh, kablam! Game over. Right. Well, I managed to get myself into position seven in the high score table there. So I think what we're going to do is apply a little bit of creative editing because I appreciate that uh, you don't really need to see me going through levels one and two again, but uh, hopefully we shall be able to come back and um, take on level three with maybe a little bit more success than uh, we managed on this occasion. So see you in a mo. Okay, so now we're back where we left off, back on level three, and I'm going to try again to just get into position here. Now you sort of have to... I'm just manipulate like a sort of slingshot maneuver to kind of swing it round to get there we go oh managed to slingshot myself into the wall let's try that again all right so easy does it easy does it there we are we've got the pod we've got the pod now another to try and sling this around like a pendulum and then we can just ease it round this corner, burning through the fuel like nobody's business. Come on. And just... There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh! 
Oh, oh no, that was very generous. Very generous of the game there to put me back in that position. I think I've got a pretty much a clean break. Yes! Oh, amazing. Level 3 complete. Mission 3, I should say. Right, on to mission 4. I do like how the sort of colour schemes change between the levels as well. Uh, and I absolutely adore, by the way, the uh, the lined graphics. Um, really, really lovely. Even on a flat screen, it sort of feels like you're playing on a CRT. Oh, that's me shot to death. Oh, it's even put me back here. Lovely. All right, let's get rid of these nasties. Uh, got one more down there. Get rid of that one. Hopefully. No, well, I mean, I kind of got rid of it. Oh, that's interesting. It's put me over here now. Now, these are controls which... Well, I was going to say, if I shoot the control, it opens the bridge. But I didn't manage to do that. I managed to die instead. So, I think we're going to have to creatively edit again and come back to level four. All right. So, we're back on level four once again. So, yeah, I was just uh, saying about how much I love the graphics and the colour scheme of Thrust. Um, it's very Tron-like uh, for fans of the original Tron movie. Uh, I think it's to do with the vector graphics. There's just something about it, particularly the way that the, the, the scenery is made up of the very close-knit horizontal lines. It just feels very Tron-like, um, and I really like the simplicity of the graphics. And yet, somehow, they, 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 they manage to seem com complex at the same time. I don't know how. They really do. Yeah. Let's try and clear out the bad guys here. Ooh, it's steady, it's steady. Yeah. Okay, there we go. It's a strategic shot. Lucky shot, really. Now, yeah. just thinking about how difficult it's going to be to get back out again with all of these uh, twists and turns. Oh, hang on. Ooh, steady, 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 steady. Now, with the reactor down here, there is absolutely no way I'm going to be blowing that one up before uh, I, I, I take off, if I even get that far. Right, okay, that's, that's that. Let's get some... Ooh, steady. Try and grab that fuel. There we go. Ooh. Yeah. Now, these are the things that I tried to demonstrate before I died on the last attempt. Um, so you shoot these. I said, not shooting it. Uh, nope. <laughs> There we go. Right, now that lets you in, but it doesn't stay open forever, so you do have to be quite careful. I think I've probably not, yeah, not left enough uh, time there, so let's do that again, and then... Oh! <laughs> Classic! Classic me. Right, let's try that one more time. So, we're going to drop down, and now you can use your this as a shield. There we go. Right. Oh! No! Oh! No! Well, at least we managed to get rid of the bad guys, so that should at least make uh, getting the pod a little less stressful. Although, how I'm going to get it back out again, I do not know. Um, let's see. So, we're going to need to very carefully do this. Which, as you'll appreciate, is not really my style at all. Right, now I've got to get through there before it closes again. But also not catch the pod Ooh, on the walls. That's the... Mm, no. Oh, look at that. That's not very fair, is it? I did all that work to get it out, and then it puts me back out here, but without the pod. It's not. <laughs> that's not very generous. I've got to go and collect it again now. Right. Oh, hello. <laughs> Just thinking. It's um. It's got shades of uh, Lunar Lander. This game, in terms of the physics of it. Uh, which, of course, as you know, I, I love those kind of physics. But it's like a sort of Lunar Lander Plus, because there's so much more... Oh my goodness, this isn't... Oh, that was rubbish. Ah, dear, oh dear. Yes, it's like Lunar Lander Plus, because you're, you're, you're trying to actually not just... Well, you don't actually ever land your, your ship, um, but you're, you're trying to complete a mission, you've got things to shoot at, and... Yeah, it's, it's, it's like Lunar Lander Plus 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 uh, right C plus plus yes. I'm rambling now because I'm nervous oh no 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 goodness gracious it looked like a balloon I was holding on to there uh, right okay uh, how about we... there we go oh there we are that was pretty quick Oops. let me 
got through there with plenty of time to spare. So, oh, I'll try not to die before I've even got the pod. That would be a bit embarrassing. Probably means I'm about to do it, doesn't it? Oh, we've got the pod. We've got the pod. Woohoo! Easy, does it? Easy, easy. Goodness gracious. I don't want to be slingshotting it just yet. I, don't, I only need to get out of here. Oh, oh, no, don't, 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 don't do that. Come on. Oh, burning up all, all sorts of fuel at, the, at this point. I'm not sure I'll have enough fuel to get out. Right, now, let's just see if we can at least get far enough that it... I was going to say that it puts me back uh, in a better position, but of course that was my last life. So, um... Yes, that was a bit of a shame. All right, well, I think we're going to have to apply the old editing again, doing quite a lot of that in this review, but uh, I do think it's, uh, it's it's worth doing because we want to see as much of, of thrust as we can and, and as, as many of the levels as possible. We want to try and at least get as far as the sixth level. So, uh, creative editing on its way. All right, so I have managed to get into this advantageous position on level four or mission four and if i just gently ease this out we are on our way to mission five there we go not too shabby so here we are this is mission five um similar if not the same color scheme perhaps to uh, mission one but uh quite a lot more difficult than mission one i think it's fair to say and as I always feel with uh, each successive mission of Thrust, as you plummet down into these chambers, you just think, goodness me, how am I ever going to get out of here with the pod? But, uh, well... Oh, hang on. I need to use the shield there. Oh, what am I doing? I forgot to put my shield on. Ah. Of course, the problem with the shield is you can't fire with the shield on. It's uh, Star Trek rules. Um... Is that right? Is that Star Trek rules? No, I think that's transporter, isn't it? You can't transport with the shield on. Yeah, it's a bit silly if you couldn't fire with the shield on. It wouldn't really make battles particularly. Oh, it's the cloaking device, isn't it? I think you can't can't fire with the cloaking device, maybe? Or... I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, something like that. But thrust has its own rule, and that is that, uh, yes, you can't, uh, you can't fire... Oh, dear. With your shield on. Is that going to put me... No, it's going to put me back here. Brilliant. You can never quite tell where it's going to place you on 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 the uh, the next level when you've sort of made a what you feel like is a you know a decent amount of progress and then yeah it just sort of pops you uh, right back outside again which is oh oh <laughs> the old, oh wow no, here we go oh, no, 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 I think there's is there a bad guy over there. I thought there was, but oh no, maybe not. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, let's try and get that fuel. There we go. And once again, I am plagued with uh, fear as to how I'll ever get the pod out of this cave. I mean, it just keeps going. <laughs> there's too much of it. Too much cave. Beautiful Tron-like diagram, though it is. Oh no! Oh, oh, is it going to put me back there? Do you think? Yes, it is. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right. Oh no. Oh dear. Well, oh, let's put me back here. No. Oh, that was silly. That was very clumsy. All right. Well, once again, the old creative edit is going to have to come out um, because, uh, yeah, we can't leave it there. That would uh, that would not do. So back in a mo. All right. So we've managed to uh, get here. So I we'll just need to uh, get that. Oh. oh, hang on. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on now. Well, this is no fun at all. Look at this. It's put me back over here. It's like it can't remember that you've gone through one of these bridges. It's not uh, not particularly not particularly fair, but uh, anyway. Right. Okay. Oh, 
no. <sighs> right. Right. We're not having this. We're not having this. We are going to come back and magically some greater progress will have been made. Bear with me. All right. Just uh, so you're aware, the uh, the slight buffering at the start of uh, these uh, creative edits is because, of course, Thrust has the uh, convenient ability to pause. So when I get myself into a decent position, I like to pause and uh, then obviously start to record again. So, uh, yes, that's why there's a slight sort of, well, pause, if you like, at the start. But we have made it! Ladies and gentlemen, we have completed Mission 5. There we go. So now we are on to the sixth and, well, I was going to say the final level. Of course, thrust loops um, and you get uh, increasing obstacles in your way uh, on the repeats of the levels, up to and including the entire uh, landscape being invisible. But I wanted to at least get as far as level six so that you could see the sort of the uniqueness of each level. Um, and I'm going to make a confession here. I have never completed level six because... Although I can get down to the pod, I have to say that actually being able to then get it back out again is so difficult uh, that, yes, it's beyond me, I'm afraid. So we're going to just do our best here, which is not particularly great, as you can see, and I've only got the one life there. So, uh, yes, let's try and... Uh, See what we can do here. There's a fuel dump over here. I'm not even going to be sure that I'll be able to get much further into the level, but at least you get to see uh, all six levels, and uh, hopefully there are some better thrust players out there than me um, who can uh, speak to a better experience of making better progress. But you know, I, I feel like I've I've done my best um, for a for a short 20 minute or so review as I usually make. It's not too bad. So let's just see how far down into the canyon I can get. Um, normally, of course, you want to kill off these bad guys to make good on your escape later on, but um, I don't think I'm going to be getting out, so <laughs> I might as well just uh, at least see if I can get to the get to the pod, um, even though I doubt that I'll actually be able to rescue it. Oh, here we go. Well, we've got to the one of these gateways, at least. Um... Oh, I say that's nasty. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. I might, I might wait for that to close and open it again because um, that is a horrible angle. Ooh. Oh no, it's not even a pod here. Oh, I could see it. Wow, look at where the reactor is. There's no way you're going to be able to kill that, is there? How, how would you ever have blown up that reactor and got out of the cave to claim the bonus? That's impossible. Well, I say it's impossible. I'm sure someone's done it. But there you go. Uh, we are going to leave it there for this review of Thrust, uh, which I have brought in at number 11, uh, which, of course, means that from the next episode, we are hitting the final top 10 of this top 85 countdown. But we will have more to say about that in the next episode. For now, I just want to say that I think Thrust is an excellent physics-based game with some clean, elegant, magnificent Tron-like graphics. Uh, I love playing Thrust. I'm terrible at it, as you've seen, but uh, it's still very, very enjoyable. And I come back to it again and again. Um, even completing the first mission for me is just good fun. Uh, I really, really like it. So, uh, yes, I hope you've enjoyed that review. I'm sure lots of you have played Thrust before. If you haven't played it on the Beeb, I'm sure you must have played it on one of the many uh, conversions that have been made since. I uh, would love to hear from you if you've played Thrust, whether on the Beeb or another platform. And as I say, hope you've enjoyed the review, and I hope you will join me for the next video in the series, which will be, of course, number 10. What will it be? Find out in the next video. Until then, goodbye.